welcome to a winter edition of the Highlander Highlights, where here in Talil, Iraq, the weather is a balmy 75 degrees. I'm your host, Staff Sergeant Jared Simpkins. The 4th Brigade is well past the halfway point in their deployment to southern Iraq, and the Highlander soldiers are working diligently on training their Iraqi counterparts. Here's Specialist Dan Weber with how the Iraqi Army is rolling closer to mission success. Iraqi Army soldiers encounter many of the same risk as American soldiers, including Humvee rollovers. Both American and Iraqi forces prepare for rollovers with Humvee Egress Assistance Training, or HEAT. HEAT is a simulator that can rotate a Humvee 360 degrees. The Iraqi soldiers participate in two rollover scenarios. The first scenario turns the Iraqi soldiers upside down, simulating a land rollover. Iraqi soldiers must unlatch their seatbelt, find an open door, and crawl out on their own. Army Specialist William Tumblin with the 4th Brigade 1st Armored Division's Brigade Support Battalion describes the second scenario. Uh, the water egress was at a 90 degree angle where the vehicle is laying on its side. Um, it's a little bit more difficult uh, when it's on its side because everybody's got to climb out the gunner's turret. Specialist Tumblin watched as the Iraqi soldiers completed both scenarios and had nothing but good things to say about them. First of all, they seemed motivated, and they, they did what they were supposed to do. They did it in a timely fashion and uh, took it seriously. Reporting from Cobb Adder, Iraq, for the 4th Brigade, 1st Armored Division, I'm Specialist Dan Weber. In the 121st Brigade Support Battalion, Iron Hammer soldiers provide most of the food, fuel, maintenance, water, and medical supplies for the Highlanders. Here's their commander, Lieutenant Colonel David Wilson, with a message back home. Greetings, Iron Hammer family members from Contingency Operating Base Adder, Iraq, the largest contingency operating base in MND South, home of the Iron Hammer Battalion, the 121st Brigade Support Battalion, a home away from home during this particular deployment. I'm proud of the actions of our troopers within the battalion uh, in providing world-class combat service support and combat health support to the Highlander Brigade Combat Team. As you know, the brigade couldn't do what they do without the uh, efforts of our logistic soldiers within the Iron Hammer Battalion, and they've been executing their mission in world-class fashion, like true champions. You, the family members, are an integral part of the Team Hammer, Team Iron Hammer, and we couldn't do what we do without you back there. So stay strong, stay Army strong, uh, because your Iron Hammer soldiers here representing in true Highlander fashion on the battlefield. Strength and honor, Iron Hammer. Training isn't the only part of the Advise and Assist Brigade. Highlander elements also share technology with Iraqi Army, police, and border guards across three Iraqi provinces. Recently, the brigade held an enablers demonstration to exhibit the unit assets at the disposal of the Iraqi security forces. The Steel Tiger Battalion from the 4th Brigade 1st Armored Division held an enablers demonstration for Iraqi security forces in the Muthana province. Joint Security Station Soto's military transition team coordinated the event, featuring classes on canine searching techniques and influence operations. U.S. explosive experts displayed technology for detecting roadside bombs, while other teams showed how communication through aerial and ground reconnaissance can assist the ISF mission. Major David Johnson from the 39th Iraqi Army Brigade MIT talks about why the demonstration helps Iraqi forces. These are tools that we would like them to know that are available at their disposal uh, during the planning process uh, that they can go out and actually employ during security operations. The display of this equipment is a good representation of how the Advise and Assist mission works between the Highlander Brigade and the Iraqi counterparts. The U.S. forces have assets ready at the request of the Iraqi security forces to assist in keeping the peace in southern Iraq. Reporting from Samawa, Iraq, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Jarrett Simpkins. In the marshes of the Maison province lies camps, Casas and fobs, with Highlander soldiers doing their part in the advise and assist mission. Staff Sergeant Joshua Ward talks about what his base is like, Cost Gary Owen. My name is Staff Sergeant Ward. I'm with 4-6 Infantry Station at Bob Gary Owen, Alamar, Iraq. Uh, Bob Gary Owen's pretty austere living conditions. Um, it's in a marshland, so anytime it rains, the, the water levels rise. At any given time, you'll see a lot of the tents flooding. Uh, soldiers live in foam tents, which were recently foamed over the past summer to uh, either keep the heat out or keep the heat in, whichever one you need. It's a pretty decent fob in the six months we've been there. It's 
really improved. Uh, a lot of improvements have been made. We now have a gym. We have a hard structure uh, dining facility, um, and it's really not a bad place to be anymore. Uh, the food at Fob Gary Owen is uh, pretty good. It's come a long ways. Um, there's not really too many complaints, you know, amongst the guys with uh, eating on the fob. They get plenty of food. As far as you know, talking to family and, and interacting with family back home, we do have internet on the fob. Everyone has access to internet as well as webcams, uh, so they can speak with their families and also see them. The, the telephone lines that we have at the MWR are also very consistent, so you're able to talk to your family on a daily basis. Uh, my job is on the PSD platoon sergeant, personal security detachment platoon sergeant for the uh, battalion commander, the battalion command sergeant major. We go out and conduct their key leader engagements um, and work with the Iraqis and interact with the Iraqis and uh, you know help establish um, their army a little bit better. Yeah, basically this is a 4-6 infantry PSD platoon tent. Uh, we have one here, one on the other side. Uh, everyone pretty much has a their own little area. A lot of people like to divide their stuff uh, so they can have their individual privacy using sheets or whatever they have available. Yeah, some people get uh, packages sent to them. They like to keep uh, Christmas decorations up. This is my area. Uh, when I'm not working or doing anything else, I use my computer. Uh, without the ability to uh, talk to friends and family back home, it'd be a much more difficult deployment than it already is. Yeah. Highlander soldiers are on the road almost 24 hours a day, from resupply missions to pulling security for civil capacity efforts. But what happens once the security has been established? Here's Specialist Dan Weber with more. Samawa, Iraq has taken a small step towards economic growth and prosperity. With the grand opening of their first small business and development center, Iraqi government officials, local leaders, and Iraqi men and women attended the ceremony. The program is funded by the United States military, USAID, and the State Department. USAID representative Fergier Gordon and provincial reconstruction team leader John Kushner attended the event. Kushner discussed small business ideas with local Iraqi men and women. One person wanted a, um, a woman's center established in Samawa. Another woman was asking about opportunities for uh, sewing training. They, she wanted to make clothing to sell, uh, to start her own business that way. Students who attend the course learn simple accounting practices, how to prepare a bank statement, and how to market their business. Mohammed Sami Saeed, an Iraqi business developer, markets the center to Iraqis. All this five-day course is to encourage them to establish their business, and if they do have a business, then it will encourage them to improve it and to make it better for themselves and their families. Saeed understands the center's historical significance for the local community. It's new on them. This is the first time such things happening in uh, Samawa and the whole Muthanna province, actually. Graduates of the five-day course received certificates, and the ceremony ended with an Iraqi feast. Reporting for the 4th Brigade, 1st Armored Division, I'm Specialist Dan Weber. That's going to wrap it up for this edition of the Highlander Highlights. For more pictures, stories, and video of your Highlander soldiers, check our Facebook and YouTube page. Until next time, I'm your host, Staff Sergeant Jared Simmons. Special start with 4th Brigade Combat Team, 1st Armored Division here in Khalil, Iraq. I'd like to wish a very happy Valentine's Day to my beautiful wife, Heather. Baby, I love you. I'll be home soon. Sergeant Jonathan Fair from 4180. I just want to say uh, I love you, Brianna, to my wife. Happy Valentine's Day. And I'm looking forward to being back home with you. Uh, happy Valentine's Day message back home to my wife in El Paso, Texas. I love you and happy Valentine's Day.